हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू राम फार्मा अकेडमी टू लर्न वेरियस फार्मा टॉपिक्स प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू आवर चैनल राम फार्मा अकेडमी एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन फ्रेंड्स फ्रॉम टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल यू विल लर्न हाउ टू कैलकुलेट स्पेसिफिक रोटेशन इन जीपेट टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन वन क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट ऑन दिस टॉपिक but students made mistakes because of some confusions so let's get rid of those confusions for the calculation of specific rotation you can use one of these three formulae but the question is which formula you have to select one by one let's go through all three of them then we will solve few examples based on these formulae if the question is asked to calculate specific rotation of pure liquid then you will be provided with the density that time you have to use this formula where alpha in square bracket is a specific rotation measured in degrees and the correct unit is degree centimeter square per gram then alpha is observed optical rotation where l is length of sample tube which is measured in decimeter 1 decimeter is equal to 10 cm if the length of the tube is given in centimeter then convert it into the decimeter just by dividing centimeter value by 10 rho is density of pure liquid in gram per ml t is the temperature in degree celsius at which experiment is carried out lambda is the wavelength in nanometer usually wavelength used is 589.3 nanometer that is the d line of sodium vapor lamp so the formula can be read as specific rotation is equal to observed optical rotation divided by path length in decimeter into density in gram per ml if the question is asked to calculate specific rotation of solution provided concentration is given in gram per ml then use this formula the only change in this formula is density is replaced by concentration term density and concentration both of them have the same unit so use this formula if concentration is given in gram per ml it will make you clear once you go through question that we are going to solve and if the question is asked to calculate specific rotation you can use this formula provided concentration is given in percent weight by volume all the other parameters are same from the previous formula only change is the concentration unit that is percent weight by volume friends now you must be able to select the formula based upon the given conditions there is not much difference in first two formula but if the concentration is given in percent weight by volume friends don't forget to multiply by 100 now the question time Let's start with the question asked in JPET 2017. What is the specific rotation of a compound X when the concentration is 0.5 percent weight by volume, angle of rotation is 1.3, and the tube length is 25 centimeter? And your options are these. If you want to solve this problem on your own, then pause the video and try to solve it. I will answer it after this timer. so first write down what is given angle of rotation is equal to 1.3 degree tube length is given in centimeter that is 25 cm as we discussed earlier length must be given in the decimeter so divide 25 cm by 10 to convert it into the decimeter which is equal to 2.5 decimeter now the concentration is equal to 0.5% weight by volume as the concentration is given in percent weight by volume use this formula containing factor 100 now put the values hence specific rotation is equal to 100 into 1.3 divided by 2.5 into 0.5 after calculation specific rotation is equal to 104 degree 
so the correct answer is third option that is 104 degree now let's start with the second question if a solution of a compound x 30 gram per 100 ml of solution has a measured rotation of plus 15 degree in a two decimeter tube the specific rotation is and your options are these friends don't you want to solve it on your own pause the video and try to solve it and the answer given quantities are angle of rotation is equal to plus 15 degree and tube length is 2 decimeter concentration is equal to 30 gram per 100 ml so whenever something is called per 100 that indicates the percentage so the concentration becomes 30 percent weight by volume use the same formula as in previous case put the values and do the simple calculation which gives you specific rotation is equal to plus 25 degree so the correct answer is first option that is 25 degree then question number three a sample of pure S2 butanol was placed in a 10 centimeter polarimeter tube using the D line of a sodium lamp the observed rotation at 20 degree Celsius was 104 degree the density of this compound is 0.8 gram per ml what is the specific rotation of S2 butanol and your options are these use this formula because density of the liquid is given don't make mistake by multiplying with 100 pause the video and try to solve it I will show you the answer after this timer now we are at the last question that is the question number 4 calculate the observed rotation of a solution of 0.5 gram per ml compound A in methanol at 20 degrees Celsius using the D line of a sodium lamp and a 1 decimeter tube specific rotation of this material is equal to minus 30 degree in this question you are asked to calculate observed optical rotation so make such arrangement in the formula and calculate it and leave your answer in the comment section below friends thanks for watching the video to help me please like and share the video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will make more and more videos for you thank you goodbye